right, we made it to Montana. This is the camp. Jason, Hunter, there's a shitter over there. Cook stove. Headed out, first hunt. Jason says we're all gonna be uh, tagged out with some booners about an hour and a half from now. So.
Yeah, nothing to do with you. Oh. Oh. I don't know if somebody's getting raped. You got it. She wants you to pat her. Yeah. I agree. She's asking for it. Her ears up, her ears up. Her ears. Oh. That's fun, that's proud. I'm gonna lie. Oh, man. Hey. <laughs> oh. Nope, she says, nah. Nah. Yeah. yeah. Well, right, well, we uh, separated for the day, so I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna check some of these ridges and down into some of these draws. See if I can find something. We're just gonna split up tomorrow morning. We got a little bit of different, uh, different plan, but uh, we're just split up for now. I'm gonna follow this trail that I found on Onyx and see what happens. I'm not gonna fucking care, but. Well, somehow. Check on it quick. Make sure I'm headed the right direction. through here on the floor there, well, that's for sure. There's some issues. Well, fence line's all full of sticks. This is all sticks. I do not see the floor of the trail. Hmm, well, maybe I have to turn around and try a different way. That happened so fast. I didn't have the time to get the camera on. I am fucking jacked right now. I just shot a fucking stud muley. An absolute stud. Oh, look at him. He's right there. You gotta be shitting me. Look at him all. There's fucking mule deer everywhere. I'm fucking jacked. Oh, thank you. I cannot even believe that just happened. It's so early yet. Oh my god. First full day. This was not a mule deer that you turned down. Oh my god. Oh, let's go take a look at this. Pardon, pardon my French. First mule deer ever. One shot behind the shoulder. I don't know, 60 yards, dropped that sucker. Absolutely dropped him. Oh, my wife's gonna make so much fun of me because of how I'm acting, but 
you don't even, I don't even, I can't even explain how I feel right now. I cannot even, public land, mule deer, absolutely insane what is going on right now. Oh my God. I had to make sure it was public. It is public, so. Oh, I don't even know if I can go up there. I don't even know if I can go up there yet. My legs are shaking. I came around this corner. I got the four wheeler here. I checked the hill, and he was just freaking, oh, just standing there. Oh, back in a boy. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking, I don't know if it's a stud, honestly, because I've never hunted mule deer before, but for me, this is a stud, there was another one too, I'm going to have to get those guys over here, I can't believe I'm tagged out, this thing is huge, I'm not shitting you, this thing is huge, oh my god, it's getting bigger the closer I get, I don't know what to do, look at that, no way, no freaking way! Fire up, son! Oh my god! <gasps> you gotta be shitting me! Look at that freaking eye guard! Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Holy shit! Run out! Run out! Run out! Come on! Oh! Look at that! Oh! Look at the junk! Look at the blades! No! Oh! 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 Look at that! Oh! Oh! Look at that! Holy shit! Oh! Oh! Look at that thing! Oh my god! All right. Let me let me breathe, and then. I gotta figure out. He's big. I've never seen a fucking. Oh my god. Alright. Sit tight. Let me get him down the hill by the four wheeler and figure it out. Oh. First full day in a high shot. I don't even know what you call that. A four by four with brows, eye guards. That's awesome. That is freaking awesome. It happened so fast. I wanted to get the shot on camera. There was no way. I literally... I put it on right there. I hopped that. Put it on him. Freaking... Skip out. And there he is. There he is. Oh. Shit. Son of a bitch. Oh. All right, that's enough. That's enough. I don't know how I'm going to get this on the four-wheeler, but here we are. First full day. Newly down, baby. Dude. All right, so I uh, got her gutted and got it loaded. Let me tell you that was difficult that thing is heavy but we got the uh, straps spongies whatever i had with me got it tagged look at that thing look at 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 oh, oh, oh. that's like 20 inches probably we'll see we'll get, we got a measuring tape back at the house at the camp but look at the freaking blades oh man all that junk in that trunk. Look at oh, another one. Very cool. So, all right, headed back to camp. Hey. This is our cook station here. And since I'm back uh, first tonight, I'm cooking. We're gonna have uh, venison tacos. 
you're like, well, tacos, those look like burgers. Well, they are burgers, but taco seasoning in them. So instead of dirty in a pan, I figured, shit, I'll just make them burger style. Hopefully, I'll be able to fold them all in and then uh, <clears throat> throw them back on the grill with everything on the inside, which when you're out here is basically just meat and cheese. So hopefully those turn out also. Uh, maybe a little mule deer heart. I'm going to saute that in a pan with some butter. This is the butter Jason decided that we should get country crock plant butter. Not really sure. But hopefully it will cook some mule deer heart. Um, other than that, uh, we just been kind of snacking and um, last night we had uh, ham steaks which were damn good. But uh, that's what we've been doing. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever eaten venison heart before, but it is pretty awesome. So basically just cook it till it's done all the way through. It might be a little could be a little tough, but most of the time it's alright. Work some of these other ones down in here. Give them a flip. Man. It's gonna be some good stuff. I'm kinda excited to see what uh Jason and Hunter's um reaction is to my buck I hope this is what we're looking for this is my first time out here you're out hunting for the first time you don't really know what's good and what's not but you see something that seems good I don't think you just passed on it you know so I uh I did find a tape measure thank god and uh I measured and it's 20 and a half inch spread. 20 and a half inch spread. 12 inch here and 11 here. But that junk, I don't know if you can pass that junk up. Like, what do you do? No. I think that's a shooter all day long. First mule deer. Look at that thing. Guys! Got my heart pumping. Alright, Jason and Hunter are pulling in to camp right now. They have no idea that I shot this deer. None whatsoever. Let's see what their reaction is. I got a mule deer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. How many deer did you see? I saw another buck that was probably a shooter. Maybe a little bit smaller than this one, but four total. I, it was like, what time did we leave here? Around 3.30 and... It was 5.4. No shit. Well... No, if we left here at 3.30, it's probably 4.30. Okay. 4.30. Ah, yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty pumped. I bet you are. It's got 12 inch tines. Yeah. 20 and a half inch spread. Yeah. Broad tines. Eye guards. It's pretty... Uh, I don't know if that's what we were looking for. I'm not really sure because I don't know what... I hope that's what we were looking for. You got your head lamp? I got the lantern over here. I hope this is what we were looking for. You, you too. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know. I, I saw it and I, 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 some, I got a bunch of them. Yes. Something just took yeah. over. I didn't even. Five by five. That is awesome. Is that a good one? That is a good one. Look at that. How cool is that, hey? That is cool. Brow time. One over here. Bladed. That's, yeah. look, look at this thing. This one's cool because it's fucked. That is really bladed. Yeah. yeah, that is awesome. 
Is that a good one? That is a good one. Okay, that's when you shoot. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, no question. I was okay. at that Friday night. Okay. Yes, me too. All right. Yeah, I couldn't pass it up. I would have shot that out of the truck on the way there. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't pass it up. It, it happened oh, so God. fast. I didn't even have time to turn the camera on. All right, I'm glad it's a good one because I wasn't so, sure. Where, where did you find them? All right, so uh, just sent. Uh, the boys out on their afternoon hunt. I'm gonna stick back for a little while. I'm gonna start to uh, quarter and debone this deer, and then I'll probably head out and do a little scouting later for them. Um, so far, so good. Camp's good. Sitter's coming in handy. Uh, everything's been great. I mean, there's really nothing to complain about. A little chilly this morning. We woke up, but that was all right. We saw more deer this morning. Uh, we went back kind of by where I shot my buck, and uh, it's really probably the highest concentration of deer that we've seen so far. We've been having to put a lot of miles on to uh, to locate deer, but that area seems to be good, so we'll probably hit that up a couple more times, see what happens. But uh, for right now, just going to stick back, get some camp stuff done, and uh, get this deer taken care of so we can get it out of the tree. So. Thanks for coming along. We're going to keep you updated as we go. All right, so real quick, getting uh, into quarter in this uh, mule deer. So just uh, real quick, if you're going to take it to the taxidermist and say get a shoulder mount done, these are the cuts you're going to make. You're going to find kind of where the white hair meets the dark hair and run that up in that seam so that way the taxidermist, when they when they sew this up, they can hide it with this long hair. And then once you get past the shoulder, you can run it up to the brisket here. Same thing here, see? So come up, and then once you get up there, you can just run it in. Uh, and Then what they'll do is they'll sew all that together. They can use some of this long hair to hide that. But <clears throat> really, past the shoulders, that's all you're gonna get mounted. They'll work with this, figure it out. So then what that's gonna allow you to do is take this breast, piece down uh, and skin that down, skin around these arms, and then what we'll do is once we get it skun uh, from the hind legs down, I'll cut it about right here all the way around, and then that'll give me enough to uh, take it in and they'll work with it and, and figure out what to do. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to keep a section, this probably from here up. I'm going to try to save the tail, and uh, I'll make like a little rug out of it or something, something cool for the house. Uh, so that's uh, just real quick, just wanted to share that with you. Shoulder mounts, find that long hair, run your knife up, same thing here, up into this chest cavity. Then you'll be able to fold this down. When you fold the rest down, you'll be able to cut it, and you'll be good to go. So, all right, I'll get back at it. Alright, so this is the end of day three. I am tagged out. Uh, Hunter um, got on the two nice bucks today. Uh, took a shot at one, missed at like 270 or something like that. So we're up on uh, some ridges in the area where he was at, kind of glass and looking around, see if we can see. Um, he said that it went and bedded down another time after he shot. And he went to get closer, and he jumped an even bigger one. So he said they both took off the same direction over the same ridge. So hopefully they'll uh, they'll find them there on this ridge over here. And then uh, look at that sunset. It's pretty awesome. So. Getting close to the end of day three, just sitting out on a ridge, watching the sunset, glassing for some mule deer. When I was uh, when I was deboning my deer yesterday, cut my pinky. I also cut my uh, my ring finger. So the pinky was really bad; wouldn't stop bleeding. Uh, I had to wrap it up with some duct tape and some paper towel. I bled through a couple of times. 
but I think we got it stopped now. So hopefully that doesn't get infected, but it was a pretty clean cut. But I did have to wash it out with some pretty nasty um, pond water, so we'll see. Might be all right. <clears throat> One more look. Comes it. Just trying to see if they can still find them. I bumped 
over to the other side of the road and I'm working the edge of these pines. I just saw three mule deer doe um, just work there just inside the pines. Um, so I'm going to keep working the edge of this right here until I get to that ridge up there. So it's going to be a while walking here is something special. Not only is everything a hill, but everything is also uneven. You have to watch every step. Alright, another update. Spotted the buck again. I spotted the buck again. We met up on the road. I decided I was going to work toward camp. We went back, looking the opposite side of the road. I spot the deer. It's headed back toward where we originally saw it. It's with a doe. I thought it was going to bed down. It didn't. So now I'm going to bust my ass like half mile back to the road, try to pick those guys up, and then head back to where we originally started today. And that's where he's headed. So, all right. Wild day, but we gotta get some tags out. My legs are burning. Whew. I can climb the mountains and shit. All my calves are just smoked. I know cell phone service. Getting absolutely pissed. I'm on the top of that fucking world back there. I got no cell phone service. So, run back to the road. Try to pick these guys up. And we're gonna go shoot this deer. I ain't lying. Okay. I hope they're still here. I, I don't know if they went through or not. Alright. Update 1219. I just got a message. Hunter says he's gone. Let's check the phone. Oh, I hope he's got him. Son of a bitch. And they're out there. I gotta make sure they actually got him. I'll be on the machine. Jason just texted, bucked down, we're going to meet up with him, 
What do you think? I don't know. Well, hopefully it's a good one. So, see you when we get there. All right. Well, we made it to uh, the road, which is good. No ride. I hope they weren't already here. We went past, but we're walking toward camp. I'm pretty sure my socks are blown out. Like, nothing left to the bottom of them. That's not a nighttime walk. I'll tell you that. That is right, not even a daytime walk. Oh, here comes my ride. Holy moly. Oh, thank God. Whew. All right. All right, we made it back. No deal. Bummer. Adios. All right, well, update. Day whatever, six. Uh, truck's back there. We're walking up on this uh, freaking mountain again. Looking for Jason's deer. Just Jason and I. Hunter's out hunting, trying to fill his tag. Um, uh, I don't know. This is pretty rough, again, not as bad as in the dark, but pretty bad, so we've made it most of the way, top of the ridge is probably only 75 yards, but it's steep, so I'm going to work this little, we saw some crows, so we're kind of hoping maybe they were showing us what we're, what we need to see, so we're going to work our way around this ridge and then work our way to the top and then start scanning looking for the buck hopefully he's down here somewhere <clears throat> hopefully the coyotes didn't get to him too all right it's our last day montana uh we leave tomorrow let's see we started hunting on friday afternoon it is now saturday we are eight days in, and only one tag filled so far. The guys are out uh, evening hunt. I was out all day scouting. I didn't see much. I met up with Hunter like around 10, 30, 11. We went put a stock on one that he found this morning. It was gone when we got there. It took about two hours. So now I'm back at camp. I think I'm going to stay here tonight. I'm going to cook some dinner, so here it is. This is going to be uh, our last meal, and then uh, I'll give you an update when uh, I either wake up tomorrow or tonight, maybe when they come back if they got a deer. So thanks for uh, sticking around. I know the last few days haven't been uh, very good. Uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. I haven't been able to hunt much. Since uh, I shot my buck just looking for a few birds, I did happen to get a sharp-tailed grouse today, and that's going to be part of dinner. So let's uh, let's get that going, and I'll uh, keep you updated tomorrow. Where is this prick? No! No! Holy fuck! By the way, that trail is not right on the map. You gotta go way past that windmill to find the gate to go in. Yeah. Okay. From where? Alright, well let me look here. What do we got? That's a no-go the way I just came. This is a cow path. I mean, getting down is not the hard part. Getting back out, and that's wet down there, hey? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Can I... Well, let me, I gotta come down and see this fucker, and then I'll run back and get to side by side. I'm jacked right now. Come on. You can't stop me. Who shot? Who shot? 
Hunter shot. With my, with my gun? Both guns. Both guns? What the fuck do you mean both guns? Alright, I don't care. We're not getting a side by side in here. That's for sure. That's wet. Alright. So, give me the story quick. What happened? So, right where the side by side is sitting. Yep. I looked over on, on this hillside. I don't. Right here. Yep, I'm not even going to look at it yet. I don't. Okay? I said, oh, there's a deer. So I grabbed my binoculars. I said, oh, that's a good buck. Grab your gun. Okay. So, you tell the rest. I grabbed your gun. Yeah. Kind of leaning off the side by side, but I wasn't steady enough. So I got the backpack out the back. Yeah. I in the middle of the trail and laid down prone. Yeah. Dad ranged him, 218. Put one on him, let him let sing. Yeah. He hunched up. Yeah. Walked about 10 feet. Yeah. And he stood there. So I so go to a tree. Yeah. I knew I heard him. He wasn't moving. Yeah. So I go to a tree. Put it on him and go pull the trigger. Nothing. There's no shit. I forgot the rack one. Okay. So I put a rack one in. Both oh, got all fucked up. Yeah, yeah. one cycle. Yeah. No, they come up kind of crooked. You got to put your finger in and yeah, yeah. I tried playing with it for a few minutes. Yeah. Pushing the top of the board down. Yeah. Still couldn't get it. Yeah, yeah. Grab your gun. Okay. He grabbed his gun. Brings it over to me. I'm leaning up against the tree. Cracked him, him again. Sitting there hunched over. So he's bleeding out basically at this point. Well, he was got shot. Oh, he was got shot. Yeah. So, I grab his gun. Pow! Right in the shoulder, dropped him. Took him and went rolling down. Right. Now, here's the crazy part. All right, I didn't look at it yet. Now, don't be fucking with me. Well, just look at it. Now, I'm not going to look at it yet. Okay. Okay. What's the crazy part? When, you'll see when you look at it. Okay. Well, it ain't a white tail. No. You love it. <laughs> And we already broke one of his horns off. Got them. Yeah, so just rolling him over to gut him, one of them busted off. And he's got no testes. <laughs> he's got a dinger, but no testes. He's got no balls. He's thin velvet. He's got some junk in the... <laughs> Holy shit, boy! I never... <laughs> this was a great big fork. Yeah, this was a decent it's, fork before it broke off. It's the middle of November. Yeah. yeah. He's still got the velvet because he doesn't have testes. So he's a, I think they call it a... Hermaphrodite. I've never seen such a thing. I never have either. What are the chances? So, velvet muley in November. <laughs> no, so no. when we're walking up, I can see a rack sticking up and I'm like, holy... Fuck, he's right there. All of a sudden, we both get up closer. We both look at it like, what the fuck? It's got velvet. <laughs> so I said, you shot a velvet doe, uh, an antlered doe. With the leg over, he's got a peeper. Got a peeper. But no testes. Ain't that something, man? That is a weird... I never in my life would have ever thought that. No. So the horns... More brittle then because they're not be. fully developed. Must be. So you gut shot him with my gun? Yeah, so I don't know if. Was it the gun? The gun was off. I didn't put him way back. Like, I grabbed his. Is back. this the shot right here? That's where you hit him? Yeah. That is a ways back. And the second shot I hit him in the shoulder and he. Like, he gave it all the way Much back. riding as we've been doing. See, it uh, could have got knocked off again. That's, that's what I said. I said. Out here, you really don't know. Cause well, I mean, side I, by side, we got 350 miles. Right. That's a lot of miles right. and a lot of bounces. Right. Yeah, right. And so my gun ended up being six inches low and six inches right. right. But that could have been from the ride out here, too. I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know. Wow. Okay. The second shot did him in. Good. He wasn't going nowhere. So he's already gutted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so because he's got tender horns, we've been dragging them by the back leg. Yeah. Which is not ideal, because I'm sure we're getting some dirt up in there, but whatever. we got to do what we got to do. So where is the side-by-side? -side? Uh, straight up there, and then over to the right. Just in front of you on the trail. Oh. So, not only did he shoot it on the other side of a steep-ass ravine, but he also tipped him on the other side of 
barbed wire. Barbed no. But he, oh, but he dropped and he rolled right on, up to the barbed wire, and the only thing that kept him on the other side was one horn. Really? All we had to do was lift the wire up, and he, he rolled right under. i never seen anything like that. I never have either. That is the most insane thing in the world. I never thought I would have shot a velvet mule leaf. In November. <laughs> With no nuts. With no nuts. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Hey? First mealy. There you go. Good work.